Hello, fearless Virgo. I missed you guys so much. I want to thank you so much for your letters. Also, some people ask me to do Virgo reading every day. I'm, I'm going to try the best I can. I Maybe at least every three days. I don't think I can do it every day. And plus, that would be overload of information. Yeah, it, it wouldn't be healthy for you uh, emotionally. Yeah, it would be overload of information. That's what my guides are showing. So... Uh, let's do this. Let's do this in a healthy way. Every few days is okay. Um, universe, please step in. Show very clear and important messages for the sign of Virgo. For Virgo's highest good, please. So let's see Virgo. This is, of course, going to be soulmate reading. But also we're going to ask what's coming into your life. Where the new people are coming into your life. New soulmates. Because remember, we live many lifetimes and have many soulmates. Uh, and they all vary depending what it is they need to learn in this particular lifetime. They all have different lessons to learn. So let's do this. Let's first ask what's coming towards you. And then second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmates energies. What's going on with them? Uh, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. Uh, we're going to ask how they are relating towards you at this time, especially emotionally what's on their mind so let's do this virgo i hope you're doing awesome guys love you universe please step in show very clear and important messages for the sign of virgo for virgo's highest good please universe what's coming towards virgo fabulous virgo fearless virgo what will virgo be dealing with facing and how to best handle it for the highest good this is picking at me for some reason for extra message wow virgo you're in love with somebody so yeah you're in love with your soulmate yeah ace of cups yeah you're not releasing this person no you're not you're not letting them go you're in love with this person but this means you're not telling them you're not letting them know how much they truly mean to you emotionally. Even if you showed them or told them here and there, you haven't fully expressed to them how much you love them. And here it shows you have other people interested in you, but you couldn't care less about those other people. You're only interested in your soulmate. This is very strong combination here. Ace of Cups with Four of Pentacles. So a lot of you are already dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, also Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Wow, you're checking up on this person any way you can, um, whether it's through videos like this, social media, mutual acquaintances. You're very curious how they're doing. You are anticipating communication from them. So you basically did whatever you feel you could do, and now the ball is in their court, so to speak. But here it shows that in the recent past, perhaps, you were very direct and blunt in communication with them. This represents very blunt communication. I am very curious to see what's going to clarify this energy. Let me see the extra. Wow. This person is also in love with you, but not telling you. So both of you feeling these intense feelings towards each other. But you guys are not expressing it. Interesting. Interesting. Let's see where this leads. Universe, what's coming towards Virgo? What will Virgo be dealing with facing? And how to best handle it for the highest good? Yeah, you want to reconcile with this person. Meaning, be on good, friendly terms. Peaceful terms with them. You want reconciliation. Meaning... Be at peace with them. Communicate with them honestly. Uh, reconciliation is greatly misunderstood in love readings. A lot of people assume immediately that it means getting back together or being together as a couple. What reconciliation truly means, especially in a love reading, is that uh, the people will be communicating honestly, openly with each other and making peace with each other, understanding each other better through communication, open line of communication. And what the two of you will decide to do afterwards will be up to you and them and your free will choices. Yeah, the outcome of this connection will be up to you and them, not up to the universe because we have what's called free will. Yeah. 
and the universe respects our free will choices so yeah you are waiting on this person you've been waiting on them three of wands showing up twice from two different decks yeah so there was some harsh harsh communication between you two heated exchange of words that you both want to heal from this was some kind of you were heartbroken and they were heartbroken and you expressed yourself very bluntly to them about your disappointment in them maybe in their communication or silent treatments they were giving you this is you wanting to uh heal that uh communication problem yeah heartbreak healing from heartbreak disappointing problems with communication in the past this is you seeing yourself as doing everything you could possibly do to show them that uh, they are important to you and that you, you really want to work on this. Oh my gosh, you're heartbroken, Virgo. You're heartbroken. For most of you, it's because you feel all these feelings for this person and you're not with them. For some of you, you have no communication from them. And for some, you have sporadic communication. You're not with them. No, you're not with them. Wow, look at this. This shows unexpected communication. So all pages are messengers, but this shows page of ones means unexpected messages, communication. This is you being very patient, grounded, like a Virgo energy, taking care of yourself, your health, your job, business, whatever it is you're doing, you're doing well. Yeah, this is you being depressed, sad, disappointed, feeling like this may be the end. This is temporary energy. We all go through it. Uh, emotional ups and downs, highs and lows, like emotional roller coasters. This is you crying over spilled milk sort of speak looking back at all the bad things that had occurred and having a lot of emotional regret but this is temporary temporary everything can be fixed if both people want to do it <clears throat> you're not sure what to do at this time but you have a lot of passion for this person love and passion yeah you feel fearful wow so this person this person is powerful attractive enigmatic uh charismatic as well they want to take action towards you this person feels enormous love for you and also passion for you interesting they also are as confused as you are where this is heading long term we're not supposed to know everything in advance yeah because if we knew there would be no a reason for us to be here if we knew everything in advance we're not supposed to know yeah everything let's see let's see universe please clarify this energy of king of cups the soulmate towards virgo yeah they're hiding it on purpose here is deceit yeah here's deceit uh so this shows that they purposely withholding from you how much you mean to them emotionally a lot of you are dealing with the leo also aquarius libra gemini cancerian pisces scorpio they don't know what to do they feel confused yeah silent treatment problems with communication showing up here they feel like they met you for a reason they feel it because of the connection they feel they feel like they met you for a reason justice yeah this is a soul contract you have you were meant to meet yeah this person is heartbroken also this shows they view you as harsh with communication maybe you said something to them in anger uh that hurt them deeply because three of the swords are pointing up so this person feels heartbreak from something you said to them 
like with the justice card means they feel like you're too judgmental towards them that you were too harsh towards them maybe that's their perception but that's how they view you uh this combination here shows that they feel you were too judgmental towards them they want to move beyond it they want to heal from the heartbreak they feel this person loves you look at this again king of cups from another deck oh yeah this is how they view you so this person is in love with you they love you but they view you as too judgmental too harsh towards them yeah it's like they intimidated by your bluntness so you said something to them possibly in anger or uh, heat of the moment when you were upset and they keep dwelling on it they keep thinking about it so they're not expressing it to you um hmm that was interesting let me see let's see what's going on universe please step in show very clear and important messages for the sign of virgo for virgo's highest good please universe what's going on with the soulmate of virgo no matter what sign or gender they are collectively what is the energy of the soulmate of virgo and how is the soulmate of virgo currently relating to virgo at this time oh look at this you saw me shuffle see that's why i like shuffling on camera so people can see i'm not making this up so <laughs> king of cups this person is in love with you and very rarely actually i have never seen king of cups have two cups except in this particular deck and i have many different decks um this shows that this person is suspecting or feels that you love them as well they know they feel it somehow yeah you guys have been through a lot of roller coasters but you've learned lessons from each other you are learning they feel like you are teaching them something valuable in life maybe you're teaching them about love a lot of you are dealing with leo taurus uh cancer pisces scorpio <sighs> they don't like fighting and arguing no they don't they feel very stressed out they are so scared of they it's like they almost anticipating more fights more disagreements they don't want to go through any of that chaotic energy they don't like to fight argue i'm very curious what the clarification will be for ace of pentacles this shows another important message this person has a lot of stress from their job a lot of stress a lot of responsibilities on their shoulders uh, a lot of them are in charge and are dealing with people who are lazy backstabbing gossipers uh wasting time and resources so this person has a lot of drama at their job or business you know what's going on with the soulmate of virgo what is the soulmate of virgo dealing with facing yeah they're so scared of feeling all these intense emotions for you they they scared it could be any reason or any amount of reasons it scares them to feel so intensely towards you yeah this person is concentrating on business finances um, they want to be stable financially in the future so it looks like they're doing well but they want to make sure that they're gonna continue be doing well into the future financially they want to be stable they want to make wise financial decisions oh yeah they have a lot of drama at the job a lot of jealous people of them so this person is very diligent successful and they there's a lot of jealousy from people around them this person is very intelligent ace of pentacles with ace of swords this person is very intelligent this also shows another another very important message for you virgo uh, that is that this person feels like they have to 
uh, prepare themselves to defend themselves from your judgment. They're very scared of your judgment that you're going to explode or tell them off. It stresses them out because they don't like to have that energy. They don't like to fight, argue. Um, so you, I think you have told them something in the past that was harsh. Maybe you were upset with them and release some harsh words or harsh judgment and they keep dwelling on it. So this person views you as uh, wise. They view you as possible marriage material, but scared. This person is concentrating on their business finances. Also, it shows messages coming for a lot of you. A lot of you will be communicating with this person. This also means gifts of uh, telephone conversations, face-to-face -face meetings, uh, apologies. Wow, 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 wow. My goodness, Virgo. They feel that <laughs> that they're gonna have to walk away if they don't see improvement in how you judge them. So they feel they feel that you were too harsh on them. But it's like their mind is telling them to let you go, but their heart is not able to let you go. This person loves you. Yeah, they want to, deep down inside, they want to reconcile just like you do. But you see, uh, this shows two very important messages. One, they want to fight for you after all. They want to fight for you. But it also means they're very scared of your judgment, of being angry at them, of you telling them off. And this shows three of the swords pointing up. So this person feels heartbreak. You guys will need to seriously sit down face to face and communicate openly with each other. So uh, this can be resolved because this person is very fearful. Um, yeah, let me see what else you need to know. And we're going to go into uh, the extended reading. Universe, anything else you need Virgo to know for the highest good? And then we're going to ask uh, in detail about your person. Hmm. Yeah, honest communication will need to happen. Yeah, you know this person for a reason. You have a soul contract with this person. A lot of you are dealing with Leo, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sagittarius, Aries, also Taurus. You see, this is you standing your ground. This person, this is you concentrating on your health and finances and job. Um, yeah, so you love this person. Both of you are guarded. Both of you feel there are problems, significant problems with communication. You feel that they need to be more reciprocal what a soul contract you have with this person. My goodness. Again, Wheel of Fortune with Justice. Uh, Libra, Leo showing up here very strongly. Very strongly also. Uh, Libra, again. You really want this to work out because you love this. You see, you guys, um, they so scared. They so scared of uh, fighting, disagreeing, seriously. Uh, there is somebody around this person that is interested in them. Um, but this person is basically, your soulmate is basically concentrating on their uh, finances, their stability, while they know that they love you. Look at this judgment. Again, reconciliation. So you do love this person. You guys have a possibility of reconciling with this person if you communicate. So remember, it's not up to the universe if people reconcile or not. It's up to us and our free will choices. How the two of you communicate with each other. 
let's go into the extended reading virgo we're going to ask about your soulmate's current true long-term intentions and plans for you at this time we're also going to ask about the person that just showed up as being interested in them i'm very curious to see what's going on uh, what will show up for that connection then we're going to ask about anything your soulmate is hiding from you whether they hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good and of course at the end we're gonna ask advice for you virgo from universe from spirit on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life whether it's your health finances job business family matters friendships whatever it is you need to know they'll show it at the end of the reading as well so virgo click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and i'll see you there i love you guys thank you